Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to do this tutorial on exploring an error that I was getting in Unreal Engine. And perhaps it can help you. And I know it's helped me to be able to figure this problem out how to create it and how to get rid of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into a new project and we're gonna go into a blank project which is actually an open world project and by default it has level streaming. This is a streamed level, this open world level and I'm gonna show you how to create this error. If I go into this level, this is a very large world. It's kilometers. This is a big world. Have you ever heard of print on demand? People publish a book and they don't have to have an inventory anymore. They only print the books as the orders come in. You can think of level streaming as world on demand. So as a character is running around here, the world is being created as needed. It's being streamed in as needed. Like way over there off in the distance, I don't need to see all that. So I don't see all that. I only see things as I need to see them and as I go. And so it's how these massive worlds are created is kind of world on demand. Here's where it gets interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an actor to this world and I'm going to go into blueprint and it's just going to be a cube. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to add a cube. Simple cube. Cube just like this and I'll compile and save this and I'll just go ahead and dock it. And I'm just gonna drag an instance of this. Let me go ahead and save this level, by the way. I'll save the current level. If you Google world partition, it actually goes into a lot more detail about this, how this all works. But let me drag this cube into this world. So there it is, there's the cube, right? If I were to close this game out and restart it, I would not get any errors. So let me just go ahead and exit out of this game. I'll save everything. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into this game. So now I'm just going to come back into this game. And you'll notice when I do, I don't get any errors and I have to click into the new map to actually see the cube. So there we are, we're back in the game, so to speak. And there's our cube right there. Now what if I do this? What if I click on this instance of the cube right here and I go into the level blueprint here? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to create a reference to this object. And I'll say it's a mouse input, let's say add on clicked. And let's say I'll just want it to print a string. So now I'm in the level blueprint, so I'll go print string. And now let's say, let me get rid of these. So now in the level blueprint, I'll hit compile and save. And this level needs to talk to that other blueprint that's been created, that cube that we've created, right? So now if I save everything, save all, and then let me exit out of here. I've created a reference to this instance, in other words. So let me exit out, and now I'm gonna go ahead and restart the game, or restart Unreal Engine. It's not really a game. Now you'll notice when I click into test map, ah, I get this error, level script blueprint reference in streamed actor. What I get out of this, in just in my way of understanding this, is that because we're in an open world environment, the level blueprint may or may not be able to communicate with it because this object is what they call spatially loaded. So these actors that we bring into our open world environment, that doesn't necessarily mean that the levels are going to be able to communicate because it may or may not be loaded depending on where it is in the open world. So it's giving me a warning. It still works and it's still there, but it's saying the communication may be faulty because this item is going to be loaded as needed and there's no guarantee of when that will be. So it's going to generate generate this error. So to resolve this, what we have to do is go into the blueprint here, the original blueprint. We want to disable is spatially loaded. So it should be right here, is spatially loaded. We don't want it spatially loaded. In other words, we want this particular actor to be loaded automatically, no matter what. So all we have to do is just check that box off, compile and save. And now if I go and restart the game, takes a minute as always, and I click into this, you'll notice we don't get the error anymore. So I just wanted to show this, it's just a little confusing. It's kind of interesting thing to get your mind around this world on demand and persistent levels needing more secure communication or more persistent levels don't like the 
well, we may or may not load it. And so it may not be loaded depending on its distance from the source stream. So it's very, very interesting. And I just wanted to post this. So I hope you found this helpful.